Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program to read a string with five characters. String should start with A and it should end with Z here. If that is the case, uh, we need to print the search is successful. Otherwise, we need to print search is unsuccessful over here. So here we need to write a pattern matching program to read a string with five characters and then uh, we need to check whether it starts with A or and it should end with Z or not over here. So first we will try to understand how to write a regular expression uh, for this one. So as stated in the problem definition, the string should start with A here. So because of that, I will take uh, the first one is uh, the caret over here. After that, uh, it should start with A. So that's the reason I will write A here. And then it should end with Z. So A is the first character and Z is the last character. So in between, we can have three more characters. So I will take uh, character class for this particular thing. It may be a small case or capital letter over here. And uh, it should be exactly three times. And then uh, it the string should end with uh, Z over here. So I will write Z here and then dollar symbol. So what it says is uh, uh, finally, uh, the last character of that particular string should be Z over here. So it should start with A. In between uh, the three characters may be present, any characters. After that, there should be a Z over here. So this is how the regular expression will look like in this case. So we will try to write a program for this one. Uh, first, we need to import a regular expression. After that, uh, we need to ask user to enter that particular string. So let us say that S is equal to input of uh, enter the string. So the user will enter that particular string and it will be stored into the variable S over here. Now we will try to create a regular expression with the help of uh, the compile function here. Let us say that uh, the regular expression or the pattern is equivalent to, uh, you can say that re dot compile and then we need to pass a parameter to this particular compile that is r of uh, here uh, the regular expression is this one i have already written it so i will copy and paste it over here so i have created a regular expression the variable where i have stored it is uh, pat in this case that's a pattern now uh, what we do is uh, we will try to search for this particular pattern in uh, the given string over here if it is found uh, we will store that particular thing into a matched uh, a variable so which is equal to match is equal to uh, pat that is what i want to search where i want to search i want to search this particular thing in this particular s over here if it is found uh, the pattern is found that is uh, a string with five uh, characters starting with a and ends with z uh, we will be having that particular matched content in this variable so what we do here is we will check whether we have anything in this particular matched content or not. If it is not equivalent to none, the meaning is there is something in this particular matched content. If it is equivalent to none, there is nothing called as a, a string with five characters so which starts with A and ends with Z over here. So if uh, matched contains something, so we will print a simple message here like uh, the search is successful. So that is what I will print here search is successful if there is nothing in this particular uh, match contain the meaning is uh, it is equivalent to none here here we will print search is unsuccessful so this is what the result in this case so first what we will do uh, we will ask user to enter a string and then uh, we, we have created a regular expression which starts with A and ends with Z. In between, we can have any three characters. That regular expression is stored into PAT. Then uh, we try to search for that particular pattern with the help of a search function in this particular S. If it is found, there will be a uh, it will be returned into this particular variable called matched. If matched contains something, we will print it as uh, successful. If it doesn't contain anything, the meaning is it is none. We will print that the search is unsuccessful over here. Now we will try to see the result. Uh, let us say that A, uh, in between I will take uh, any three characters over here. Let us say that Q, W, E and the last character in this case is Z here. Now if you see this result, it says that the search is successful because we have five characters and it starts with A and ends with Z in this case. Now we will try to run it one more time. Let us say that I will take A. I will take three characters. 
apart from z i will take x in this case now if you see here we got a result like search is unsuccessful in this case this video i have discussed uh, how to write a python program uh, to read five characters which starts with a and ends with uh, z in this case i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching